welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. My name's Faith. In today's workout, number, let's see, this is the third workout of the day. Yes, this is the third workout of the day. So we are doing a weighted booty workout today. So usually I use um, bands. So for this workout, you are going to need a band in terms of engaging the glutes. We are also live streaming as the preview um, for YouTube, because this isn't gonna post for a second. But you will need a band. You're going to need a selection of weights. I would say something light to medium and a heavy weight because we are gonna be doing thrusters as well. Um, so for that move, you're gonna want something heavy, but for that other move, you're gonna want something a little bit lighter to medium. So usually when I'm working booty, I do use a hip band um, and that just creates resistance. One of the issues that I see a lot of women have are what they call hip dips. And it's where when, especially like women in the fitness industry, when you lose a lot of body fat, um, sometimes women will tend to lose it from their hip region. And then what happens is the body fat around their hips is gone. So right at their hip bones, they start to kind of indent. And then the fat around like their thigh area, lower hip region comes back out. So it doesn't give a well-rounded booty shape. And the goal is to kind of round out the booty as a whole. Unfortunately, hip dips really just come from like it's just your bone structure. There's not too much you can do, but what you can do is grow that muscle to help kind of curve out that area. And in order to grow muscle, we all know we have to add weights. We have to add resistance. We have to add weights. Sometimes the hip bands are enough for a second, but progressive overload, we have to at some point step it up. So you can pile on like band over band, and that's definitely going to help, you know, increase your resistance. But recently I have started adding weights in my booty workouts as well. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. So what's going to happen is we've got a few different moves here. Um, not going to do that one actually. So I will go through first. We're going to do some abductors and stuff. Um, to kind of warm up and basically get the glutes engaged a little bit. And then we're going to jump right into it. Um, if you have any booty moves that you do where you can add weights, feel free to drop those below. It's kind of hard, I think, if you're looking at moves specifically to target the glutes and add like dumbbells, it's really hard to kind of integrate those two just because it's awkward. Um, if you're a person like me, deadlifts work your hamstrings and squats don't do shit for you, okay? I am quad dominant. It's a thing, people. Squats do not do shit for me. They do not do shit for my butt. They will grow my quads and then I can't fit into any of my jeans. So it's just like, no, I don't want, I do not want bigger thighs. Thank you. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, put on our band. We're going to start with some seated abductors to kind of help engage those muscles and get warmed up. If you haven't already warmed up, I'm going to pop in my earbuds. For the video, what we're gonna do is go through, I'm gonna go through round one with you guys, go through a few cues, and then we're gonna do three rounds. So rounds two and three, I'll put on some music for you guys. Anybody live, we don't know yet. You're just kinda, you're just kinda chilling. You're kinda chilling to see a behind the scenes type of thing. So we don't know what's happening for you guys yet. You're just here, hi. I am going to pop in my earbud. Is this not the one where I can turn my volume down? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So we're going to put on our hip bands right above our knees. 
And FYI, do not get the plastic shit. Do not get the freaking resistance bands. No. Mm -mm. And what you want to do, your feet are going to be together. You're seated on literally like your hip bones. Your hands are going to be behind you and your chest is out. Hold on, let me move my band up a little bit more. Now, your feet are staying together, but you're going to roll onto the outer blades of them. So, of course, they're going to come apart. But when they come back in, they're going to be together. So, you are abducting your knees, rolling onto the outer blades of your feet, squeezing right here at the side booty. You should feel that. If you're not feeling that, you need to work on engaging your glutes. And that's kind of more of, like, I can tell you but that's more of like a mind to muscle thing. You really need to think about that specific target muscle and squeeze that specific target muscle. If you're ever like, I talked to other girls and they're like, yeah, I do that. If you're ever like seated and <laughs> you just kind of like squeeze your butt, that's what it is. That's literally what it is. Another thing that I think about, and I do it with my quads too, is like a wrapping motion almost. So you squeeze it, but you think about it and you think of wrapping your muscles, almost like corkscrewing them. So we're gonna do a few of these. We're gonna shoot for about 10 and we're taking them slow. We're just trying to get those glutes engaged. So out, we're holding it for a beat and we're bringing them back in. You don't want them all the way back in. You don't want your knees touching. You wanna remain some keep some resistance on that band out for two and in and out y'all yeah, was that three shit i need a counter person i need to literally just hire i think this is five i need to literally just hire a person to stand behind me and be like yes that's six cool so that I can focus on what I'm doing. I cannot count and freaking do the movement at the same time. And you should be kind of shaking by now. If you're not kind of shaking by now, you should be questioning if you're really engaging. I think this is eight, y'all. Shit. This is nine. I hate numbers. And 10. I hate numbers. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So what we're gonna do now, just with the band, leave the band on. Also, engagement, you're going to get on all fours, tabletop, knees directly under your hips, wrist, elbow, shoulder, all in line. And we're doing just a basic donkey kick. You wanna keep your core tight on these. Again, you're thinking about engaging, squeezing your glutes. So we're going to do 10 on the left side, and then we're going to do 10 on the right side. And we'll hold it for a beat. And you can feel, like I can feel, because I'm squeezing the entire way, even when I come down, I'm shaking. So that's a good signal that you are actually engaging the target muscle. Is that seven? There's no way that's seven. I don't know. So if ever in doubt, just do another. <laughs> We're going to say that's eight. I just can't talk and keep up to now. Okay, 10 on the other side. <laughs> And when you're doing donkey kicks, some people will point their toe. For me, I do feel like I get more engagement when my foot is flexed, but that's a personal preference. Try each one and see which works for you better. All right, let's really try to count this time. Here's two, three, Here's eight, here's nine, and 10. You know, Ed Sheeran, we're gonna get on our backs, guys. Keep the band on. I feel like Ed Sheeran's voice does not match him. I mean, he's a 
cute little fella, but like, yeah, I don't know. Okay, we're going to do frog pumps. So this is kind of like a hip thrust, but your feet are together. Sorry, I can't breathe. The weather changes and I cannot breathe. So your feet are together at the bottom. Your heels are kind of close to your butt and just let your knees drop. I feel like it's at the gynecologist's office, yeah? <laughs> anyway, so it's basically like a hip thrust, but you're keeping your knees open and your feet together. Now, you're on the outer blades of your feet. So a couple of things, you are, your legs aren't just hanging. You are creating resistance on that band. When you go up, you are squeezing your glutes. Um, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, when you're actually engaging. So it's different for each person. If I push into my heels, I feel it more than if I push into the outer blades of my feet. So again, you may wanna try and see what works best for you, but we're gonna do 10 of these and then we can jump into our workout. Yay, cool. All right, so let's go. And on these, I like to stay crunched up and you are doing your uh, pelvic tilt in these. So there is a slight tilt and you're moving as one piece. We're not pumping the air here. It's not like something weird. We are just moving, like think of a plank position. Okay, so resistance, feet together, heels or outer blades of the shoes into the ground, moving as one solid piece. Ready? Cool. And for 10. Here's eight and 10. I count at that time now. Okay, now bands can come off. We only have four moves. Lucky us. Oh, I was like leg raises. Isn't that an ab move? I was so confused for a second. Don't you hate when you make a note and it's like, I don't even understand my own note that I just wrote here like 30 minutes ago. Okay, cool. So we've got 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. I need a drink. Ooh, I like this song. Okay. We have weighted clams each side, weighted leg ra raises each side. We have weighted donkey kicks each side. Those are fun love ex ambassadors and <laughs> and then we have to not die 20 hip thrusts now the hip thrust is where you're going to want a heavy weight so i for reference am using a 22.5 i could go heavier but let's be honest i'm lazy i'm lazy so a 22.5 it is because Faith was too lazy to just change the dial on the bow flex. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so <laughs> get your weight. Oh, and if y'all want to be hella psychotic, you can leave your band on. You do what you want. It's your workout, boo. Okay, Faith is not leaving her band on. At least not for this round. Maybe in round three. We'll see how. We'll see how I get. I might play music for you guys. If y'all are live still, I don't know because I can't see my phone. If y'all are live still, I might put live music on for you guys. I don't know if YouTube will catch me for that because it is live. <sighs> Love you, YouTube, but y'all will catch me for anything. Okay. 20 clams each side. So you are going to get in to a side position. <laughs> Knees in line with your hips, legs, feet flexed. Oh, your feet are staying together for this. They are not moving. There's no weird umps in here, okay? Your feet are staying together for this. The only thing that's moving is this knee, this glue is engaging to pull up that knee, mm, okay? It's hard enough without the weight. For reference, I am using a 12, 
No, this is not fun. That weight where I feel it the most is right above like a bad inches, maybe three inches above my knee. That's where I feel it most. Again, do what works best for you. All right, guys, 20 is a lot. I'm trying to get my bearings here. Okay, so we've got 20 this side and then we're flipping it over and we're doing 20 the other side. We'll turn up my tunage. I don't even know if anything's actually playing. And Maddie is still walking around downstairs. Oh, wrong earbud for volume up. Oh, I restarted it. Totally fine. I like ambassadors. Oh no shit. Did I turn it off? Hold please. We are having technical. Oh damn it. So I just figured out on my earbuds how to switch between songs. I think I fucked it up. I think I messed it up. What the hell? All right, well, let's do these and then I'll figure it out. That makes me so mad because my phone is on live, so I can't actually do it. Okay, 20 guys. Ready? Let's go. Here's one. And remember, you're not rushing through these. Really focusing on squeezing that glute. It should not feel easy. I did these, I did do these the other day with the band on, and I'm pretty sure I barely got to 10. <laughs> and I was like, oh hell no. No, we ain't doing this. You ever get to like you're kind of at the end of your workout and you get to something really hard and you're like, fuck that. We ain't even doing this, uh-uh. All right, we just got five more. Yeah, I feel it. If it feels like it's cramping, <laughs> that's 20. Okay, we're gonna switch that over. Um, but what I was saying in my other video, like before this one, we've got 20 on this side. Maddie was just like walking around and you can hear her. She's so freaking loud. You can hear her on the video. So I apologize. She's just, I don't know what she's doing. She's just prancing around downstairs, going back and forth, snooting. I guess she feels like every single morning she'll find a new spot, a new sniff, a new smell. I don't know. It's ridiculous, but I can hear her. So I know y'all can hear her because I can hear her with my earbuds in. And I was like, oh my gosh. So she just goes back and forth. Here's, I think this is 13, 14. Oh yeah. Yeah, y'all. I feel that. 15, 16. Y'all can see I'm using my fingers to count. I think that's 18. Whew. And 20. Yes, that's fun. What was the other one? Okay, so leg raises. So we're going to flip back. It's a lot of flipping back and forth, which is fine. Now with this one, you can have your feet, you can have them both out. For more stability, I bend my bottom leg and just leave my top leg out straight. And what you're going to do with this one, same thing right above your knee. You never ever want to place, whether it's the band or a weight, you never want to place that directly on your joint. You know what? They don't need to be with us this whole time. We'll show them the moves and we'll peace out from them. That's what we'll do. I just had an awesome idea. Not that your life's not special, but why would you get the whole video? That makes sense. Okay, 20 of these. So you are flexing your foot and you're just lifting up, okay? And three. Now these I feel a bit more when my dumbbell is more in between my thigh. See, sometimes it's just playing with it. You have to see what works specifically like for your body. And that's 10. Thirteen, fourteen. Here, 
Esther 16. What is she doing? 19 and 20. That one's shaking. Yeah. They're worse than children. Honestly, <laughs> dogs are worse than children. Okay. Same thing with this one. Flex your foot and just try to keep your core tight. We don't want any damage to the spine or anything on these. Two. I have to sneeze. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, yep, it's gone for now. Y'all, it has been. I swear, filming wise, this has been the most hilarious thing. Yesterday, oh my gosh, so yesterday was the weirdest, like, conversation Friday ever. <laughs> I think this is 11, you guys. What? Now my earbuds just completely went off, so that's fun. I think this is 13, 14. That's fine. We should focus on our counting anyways. 15. Whew. Feel like we did more on this one because it's really cramping. And here's 20. Mm. Mm -hmm. So stretch that out if you need to. We are going to move in to our donkey kicks. So that's fun. <laughs> I am going to go big. I have big hopes for this one. I am starting with a 12. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might move down to my eight. I don't know yet. This weight is going directly behind your knee and to hold it in place, you are going to absolutely want to flex your foot on these. Flex it and squeeze it, which is also just going to really engage your glutes so much more. So fun. Can't y'all hear the excitement in my voice? Okay, shoulders back and down, hips, knees, wrists, elbow, shoulder, good lord. Okay, 20, I don't feel like that's stable. There we go. Okay, two. Y'all also act as my mirror, so if I look at you guys, I'm checking my form. If you have a mirror, use it to check your form or film yourself to check your form. Here's 13, 14, let's slow them down a little bit. 15, sorry, I feel like I was really racing through them. <laughs> I was like, I don't wanna feel these. Here's 18, it's 19, and 20. Oh yeah. Like the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah. All right. We're switching sides on that. We'll move out because I'm hitting my, my other weight. <sighs> Y'all. Okay. Focus. Flats. And 20. Shoulders down. Go. One. <sighs> hey. We only have one more move. Yay us. And then... We have two more rounds, so yay us, you know, and then <laughs> I have a cool down video to do for you guys, so yay me, and then yay you. Here's 16, 18, and 20. So I just want to say, y'all are getting like all the goods today. Y'all got warm up, y'all got abs, y'all got booty. Why does that feel so heavy? No. Y'all, this is hard. I'm tired. I'm gonna nap. <laughs> it's like nine o'clock. I just want to nap. Okay. So. <laughs> We are supposed to be laying on the floor. <laughs> and now I have a sudden urge to go pee. 
which is just fun with this heavy weight like sitting on my bladder. What is wrong with me today? Okay, focus guys. So heels, <laughs> heels into the ground as close to your booty as you can get them. Your knees are out about hips width. Your weight is sitting on your bladder. <laughs> no, your weight is in right into your hip crease if you can. Um, and your back is going to be flat into the ground. Your shoulders are into the ground. You're going to be thrusting up as one solid piece, squeezing your glutes as you do so. One thing I advise is to lift your toes off of the floor when you do these and dig your heels into the ground. That's really going to help to actually engage your glutes. If you're looking for a little bit more of like a hamstring target, you can walk your feet out a little bit more. That's going to shift the, um, oh gosh, what's it called? Fudge, what's it called? Anyways, it'll shift the focus more into your hamstrings than into your glutes. But I want glutes. So my feet are going to be as close to my glutes as possible. And we are lifting for 20. So deep breath in, shoulders down, shoulders into the ground, back flat into the ground. Exhaling as you go up, squeezing your glutes. Let's go. And your hands are just kind of holding your weight so that obviously it doesn't roll back onto you. That would be horrible. But it's not like holding your weight in a way that it's taking the weight off of your hips, if that makes sense. Your hips need to be carrying that weight so that it's added resistance. I think that's nine guys. <laughs> we think. And if you tighten your core, that's really gonna help. It just adds a little bit more engagement. Why not? It's like a freebie. Freebie. I like freebies. I think that's 13, 14. Okay, let's focus on our counting. 15, <laughs> 16. Would y'all believe I have not yet had coffee? Mm -mm. No, but there are some protein waffles and coffee with my name on it. Ooh, I did have a um, sugar cookie, oat milk latte yesterday, and it was actually really good. I, I cannot believe that Starbucks was out of almond milk, but the oat milk... And normally I don't like oat milk, but with this, you couldn't really taste it. So I was like, okay, whatever. Okay, guys, so that's all for your first round. Now you know kind of what you're doing. Things are going to get a little cry-cry because I, for round two and three, am adding my band. So do join me. Let's all, you know, just be insane together. Why not? Life's more fun that way. So we are doing that. And we'll turn on some tunage for you guys. We're going to say goodbye to our fellow live friends. And I'm going to fix my earbuds really quick before we get into rounds two and three. Cool. Let's hit it, guys. Fixing y'all.